Welcome to another super size sales video. These are items that sold for $100 or more and we are looking at the October 2018 thread on my Facebook group which is called Stay at Home Mom Selling on eBay and the link is below the video if you want to come over and join us so you can look at all these threads and or post your sales to share with others. So what we do here is sellers share how much they paid for an item, where they got it, how much it sold for, and then either a screenshot or a link to the item so that everyone can learn from the successes of others. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Okay, we're going to start off with our superstar, George Kelly. Bought this unopened set of James Bond Blu-ray DVDs at a garage sale for $15. Sold in a week for $148. So let's take a look at the original listing here so you guys can see what it is. James Bond 007, Bond 50. I guess it's a 50 anniversary, yeah, it's five decades of Bond. Blu-ray, DVDs, collection with Skyfall, new unopened. So the takeaway here is look for those unopened DVDs and Blu-rays because you never know how much they're going to be worth. So he turned $15 into $148 in just a week. Okay, we've got KC. Paid $7.50 last spring at half price ski gear sale at thrift store and sold for $159 within three hours of listing as I'm beginning to dig into my ski gear piles. Okay, so this was in October, so ski season is getting ramped up. Generally speaking, ski boots at thrift stores are terrible and I rarely look. They have to be pretty unique like these to be worth it. And KC is also a ski instructor out in Park City, Utah. You can check out my interview with him um, talking about his business. But here is the item. You can take a look at those. And apparently these are something unique and unusual. So picked those up for $750 and sold for $159. Okay. Great. Then we had Matt Williams who found these in a thrift store and they sold in a couple of weeks. Um, cost $4.20, sold for $99. Morgantown glass golf ball collectible or vintage glasses. So that's interesting. Then we've got Casey again, standard VCR DVD combo, $5 at the recycling center. $150 with free shipping which took a few months to sell. I was surprised to see the comps on this guy because it was so light it almost felt hollow. Great for shipping. So $5 and sold for basically $150 and it's got the uh, DVD VCR combo with the manual, the remote control, the cords, everything you need there. And this is an example of just because you wouldn't use it doesn't mean nobody will. So remember, you are not your customer. Look at what sells before you make any snap judgments on whether you think an item will sell or not. Somebody put something on the Facebook group the other day about um, they're not going to ship internationally because they don't think people will pay customs fees. And they're imposing their own personal beliefs on their business and that's a very dangerous thing to do. Um, so we all know that international shipping is a great way to make more money. You are opening up your buying audience to literally billions of more people and of, of course people are going to pay customs fees. 
um, people living abroad know that and not everything has customs fees on it there's different thresholds in different countries and that's nothing you as a seller need to worry about that is the buyers responsibility I see a lot of conversations on this people are worried about customs fees and you don't have to be it's it's all included when you print your label there's a customs form it, it has nothing to do with you it's all the responsibility of the buyer so if that is what's holding you back um, you need to just throw that idea out the window and jump in and start shipping internationally I have an entire course about this in my premium library with lots of videos um, I'm there to hold your hand basically through your first sales if you need that and let's get you shipping internationally so you can increase your sales without having to do more work that's the great thing about it is if you're not shipping internationally it's a great you know you're just gonna increase your sales without having to do any more work it's called leveraging what you've already done so enough about that KC also has uh, posted in several Money Making Monday threads of my Thomas the Train sales from a $20 tote full of purchase, oh, a tote full purchase at a garage sale. This one piece sold for $98 plus shipping. The whole lot is now nearing $300 total sales with many pieces still for sale. My first big success with Thomas the Train, it's been surprising me daily with the sales. The main benefit to this purchase is that it wasn't all trashed when most Thomas stuff I find is so he bought a whole bunch of Thomas the tank train stuff for twenty dollars and this is just one item out of that lot of stuff that sold for ninety eight dollars and that's what kills me about toys is this just plastic it's just some pieces of plastic or wood and he's already made three hundred dollars back on that twenty dollar purchase because he parted all this stuff out okay Sandra local thrift store was having a buy one get one free on clothing cashier directed me to pick something else out since I only had one article I picked this dress both articles sold for four dollars oh at the thrift store four dollars sold for full asking price after two days DVF, which is Diane von Furstenberg, iconic wrap dress. I learned about this dress in one of Suzanne's videos. Thanks, Suzanne. Well, you are welcome, Sandra. And here is her dress. Um, that is the iconic DVF wrap dress. I've got a video on that if you want to check that out. These are great sellers, whether vintage or not. And um, $102 well basically hundred three dollars plus shipping and it's sold in a couple of days so this is a highly coveted item if you find these you can make a lot of money as Sandra did okay Jerry paid five dollars for this unused piano lesson DVD set at a yard sale sold in about three weeks for hundred and nineteen dollars so let's see what this is Play Piano in a Flash, 12 DVD, Scott Houston, 22 hours, lessons, tutor, complete new thing. So here it is, the fastest way to learn piano. It is a teach yourself how to play piano at home thing. And it's um, 22 hours of lessons. So we live in a world of, you can pretty much learn to do anything at home now with YouTube, DVDs, the internet in general, whatever. Um, so these self, uh, self-taught self type items or self-improvement, those type of things really do well. So he turned five dollars into a hundred and nineteen dollars in three weeks. Great sale. Okay, Valerie paid $5 at Salvation Army, took best offer of $120 after about three months. And what do we have here? Okay, this is one of those bolos. Polo, polo bolo. <laughs> Ralph Lauren Blue Bear logo flag knit sweater. Three extra large, big, tall. 
Okay, this item is one of those that is just a cocktail of a bunch of attributes that make it valuable. People always want to know exactly what to buy, especially if you're new. And yeah, there's some things I can say these are good sellers. In fact, I've got a playlist I'm building with 100 of my, in my opinion, best selling items, highest profit items. But this item here, um, it's the Ralph Lauren Bear on the sweater. That makes it valuable. It is a three extra large, big size. That makes it valuable. And it's probably vintage too, which that's not in her title. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are from the 80s and 90s. So what you're looking for to maximize your profit is that perfect storm of a bunch of different attributes that increase the item's value. It's not um, buy all Ralph Lauren sweaters. It's not buy all Ralph Lauren sweaters that are 3X. It's this bear. It's the brand. It's that the bear is wearing a Ralph Lauren sweater in the um, design there and it's a big size and it's vintage. So you've got to learn this business and learn how to um, look over your items before you buy them to see what attributes do they have that are going to contribute to that higher price. Okay, moving on. Mary picked up two full five-piece place settings for $12.50 at a local thrift store sold after about four weeks for $175.90. And she's got here some Royal Dalton uh, Countess place settings. So if you are okay with shipping breakables and storing this type of item, it's definitely profitable. Um, this is just not something I'm attracted to, but everyone has their own way to run their own business. So if it works for you, then do it. Um, if I came across something like this that was one place setting worth this much, I might go outside of my own rule, break my own rule to make this kind of profit on it. But generally speaking, I just don't like listing or working with this type of item. But hey, that's an opportunity for you because everybody likes to do different things. Um, so 17, sorry, $12 turned into $175.90 after about four weeks. Okay, John paid $6 for this and took about a year to sell. What is it? Rare John Deere Little Farmhand Stained Glass Wall Clock by Donald Zolan. Okay, so we've got a, another one of these items with a lot of attributes working in its favor. It looks like a very well-made clock with um, nice, um, I don't know if it's mahogany or cherry wood. Does he say what it's made of here? Does not say... Um, I'm just skimming over this. I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time looking, but it looks like either cherry wood or um, maybe even mahogany, which makes it more expensive. Um, it's John Deere, which those types of items sell well. The little collectible tractors. I've sold piggy banks, coffee mugs. John Deere is one of those things that I look for because it, it sells well. Um, and then... Let's see what else. It's in really good condition. So that's another thing. And this is just something you don't see all the time. Um, it's one of those Danbury Mint items, which those can be, um, you know, e those can go either way. It depends on how many were made and what the demand is for the item. Some of those Danbury Mint, like plates, um, you know, there's just too many of them. But something like this... Um, I mean, I can see someone buying this for their kitchen that, you know, has the the farmhouse decor um, or a farm farmer or somebody who just likes John Deere stuff. But again, let's see how much he paid. $6. Took about a year to sell. 
but it sold for $207. So this is considered a long tail item. It's an investment. Um, yes, we all like to see those flips that happen quickly. You know, I paid $5 for this and it sold for $100 in two days. That's more of a rarity than a common thing on eBay. If you are in this for the long haul, it does not matter. You just keep listing and keep going and those things that you listed in the past will become a pipeline of money for you. So you have to be patient. Where else can you invest six dollars and walk away with over 200 in a year? Not very many, I don't know of anywhere else you can do that. So good sale, congratulations on that one. Then we've got Mary Ellen who paid $15 at Goodwill, sold within 30 minutes of listing. Um, these are Brother um, Ink Toner Cartridges. I've actually sold this same exact set and it went for about $200. Um, I will caution you when purchasing any printer ink, toner, things like that, um, you don't know if it's like if it's ink if it's dried up if it's actually usable so if you make these big sales with toner and ink you know allow the buyer time to receive it and check it out and and leave you feedback before you spend that money because I have had it happen where I have found these things they're old they're dried up or um, part of the cartridge has disintegrated or broken and it doesn't work correctly and um, you know I always take the buyers word for it I give them the benefit of the doubt sure this could be a scam people could be buying these and then saying they don't work and wanting their money back and all of that we're not going to get into that but um, let me just caution you if you sell printer ink or toner that's new in the box and sealed and it is older there is a a chance, a legitimate chance that it, it may not work, it may be dried up, dried out, that kind of thing. So just keep that in mind and hold that money back in your PayPal account just in case there's an issue and you have to do either a full or partial refund because of the um, stuff being not usable. Okay, William bought at auction for $5, took a best offer of $600 plus shipping. What in the world is this? Super Angel Stainless Steel Juicer Heavy Duty Juice Extractor and then a model number. And he had it for 900 but he said it sold for 600 So this is an amazing new thing, meaning I have not heard of this before. Um, there's all the parts and accessories that come with this. It's called Super Angel Juice Extractor. So if you're one of those people that looks through the kitchen appliances at thrift stores, Goodwill, garage sales, and this is not on your list, then um, put it on there because that's huge. $5 sold for $600. He didn't say how, oh, he said it sold within a few days. Probably because it's not... Um, the market's not flooded with them. It's not oversaturated. So that is amazing. <laughs> That's why I love these threads is because you just learn so much about things you had no clue about. Here we have William again, paid zero dollars, sold on seven day auction for three hundred and eighteen dollars. What is it? F and F mold dye works. Um, it looks like these little die cast cars, some kind of kit to make them yourself, something like that. Um, no, they're plastic. So let's see. Um, he must have gotten this at an estate sale. Oh, okay. My seller wants to sell at auction, so we will not be taking offers. So this must have been a consignment item. Maybe. Um, doesn't say where he got it, but who cares? Now we all know about it. These are some little plastic 
um, Die Works convertible cars sold for three hundred and eighteen dollars he paid zero for them <laughs> so that's amazing congratulations William okay now we've got Judy who paid two dollars for this item and it sold for a hundred and seventy nine dollars plus shipping and it is one of those coveted hidden Mickey bears if you do not know what a hidden Mickey is, you can check out my video on that because this is one of those bolo, be on the lookout for items. If you are looking through the plush, you want to always have this in mind. You might just see the foot or you might just see the face sticking out and these are worth a lot of money if they're the right ones. So this was a Disney hidden Mickey Mouse bear, 30 inch pre-duffy shaggy large so it's a brown teddy bear and the hidden Mickey part comes from at Disney they have um, little Mickey Mouse the head with the ear shape hidden in different ways all over the park the hotels it's just kind of a game where you try to find the hidden Mickeys well they also have these plush stuffed animals that have see like the foot has the Mickey Mouse head and ears and then the face has that shape as well so these are pretty easy to spot I have never found one it's on my bucket list of things to find I know they're out there because people around me in Atlanta are finding them all the time and <clears throat> excuse me it's just a matter of when is it going to turn up for me eventually it will so she found this um, at a thrift store paid two dollars and it sold for a hundred and seventy nine dollars so that is what eBay is all about okay Emily paid 25 cents at the bins which means the Goodwill outlet sold for hundred and twenty seven dollars on a seven day auction and this is a Stife brand this is vintage um, Stife is one of those higher end plush brands. Um, I also have a video on that so check that out on my channel. Um, so this was 25 cents sold for hundred and twenty seven dollars and it's just a matter of knowing what to look for. There's so much stuff out there the more you know the better picker you will be the more money you can make. Okay, then we had Susan who got this free on Craigslist, listed for three weeks and sold for $110 plus shipping as a ceiling fan. So somebody was obviously moving, bought the wrong thing, didn't want it, cleaning out, downsizing, whatever, just getting rid of it on Craigslist. Susan picked it up and sold it for $110 plus shipping. Okay, Bethany paid $30 and sold for $176 plus shipping. My airline pilot husband told me about this brand, wanted to keep, but since we fly standby, we usually can only take carry-on. And it's Briggs and Riley. Okay, yes, that is an excellent brand. Their luggage is very durable and I believe they have a lifetime guarantee where if it ever needs repair, you send it into them and it's repaired for free. Um, at least they used to have that so this is very high quality luggage it's durable it lasts a long time don't be afraid of shipping these items because um, luggage is pretty easy to ship you just put it in a big box I mean it's made to be thrown around and take some abuse so as long as you put it in a big enough box you should be fine so she uh, paid $30 and sold it for $176 plus shipping. Okay, Michelle bought this flatware set from an estate sale on the final day, so it was half off. I paid $7. I did not find comps, so I listed it as an auction and started the bid at $25. It sold for over $200. And it is a flatware set, Loeffler Bedford Holland stainless steel flatware 43 piece lot 
and she said it was from an estate sale on the final day. So some takeaways from this listing is just because it's the last day of an estate sale doesn't mean there's nothing left. Um, they want to get rid of that stuff. They don't want to have to pack it up and take it somewhere else. So they may be willing to negotiate more. Um, don't feel like that if you don't get there in the first hour of an estate sale you're not going to get anything because everybody's looking for different things and see this was left behind it was only seven dollars and she sold it for over two hundred dollars so this is why we love eBay because anything can sell alright mark paid two dollars at an estate sale sold in less than an hour for two hundred dollars plus twelve dollars shipping this is the vintage L.L. Bean tote bag navy blue and red boat tote these are um, on my hundred item list of one of the top items I always look for um, because they're vintage they're collectible they're rare and they're very durable people love them and they're out there and you can find them they're easy to ship too so that's um, he says that's the reason that this sold for so much was because it was a rare color combination um, and Mark is not on the East Coast he's I believe he's in Ohio I've known watched Mark for a long time so I'm pretty sure that's where he is so it's not like you have to be near the LL Bean headquarters to find these they're everywhere um, LL Bean's been a catalog company for many decades and people all over the world order their stuff so this could be anywhere there could be one of these in somebody's closet right now and you don't even know how much it's worth and now that you're seeing this video you're gonna go grab it and list it I hope you will if you want to give it up so two dollars turned into two hundred dollars in less than an hour okay um, we've got Susan I'm a newbie and just started selling things from my home three weeks ago started with my New York Rangers 1994 Stanley Cup items they've been sitting in boxes through four house moves so figured they could go my third sale this week uh, was this week for a coin I think I paid around thirty dollars for after the win okay so let's see what she's got here right there New York New York Rangers 1994 Stanley Cup coin hundred and twenty seven dollars for a collectible coin that she had dragged around with her when she moved four times she paid thirty dollars for it originally so again that goes to show you that some of these things appreciate over time you just have to look it up and see what it's worth okay we've got Mike bought as part of a fill a bag for six dollars he's in Australia sold for hundred and twenty dollars what is it what is it what is it what is it Rolling Stones world tour t-shirt okay Here's a t-shirt from a concert, Rolling Stones. Sold for $120 Australian and he got it as part of a fill a bag sale where everything he paid for was $6 in a bag. So concert t-shirts, you never know where they're going to show up. They could be hanging in somebody's closet right now. That person decides to downsize, they have to move, whatever. They just start chucking stuff donating it whatever and it shows up in front of you so don't feel like you can't or will never find these things because the people who found who find them say that oh I never thought I'd find this and it just appears in front of you okay Michael listed all oh sorry all in at $17 for all of these he-man figures and castle gray skull listed for 500 took best offer of four hundred and fifty dollars in about three days so he paid seventeen dollars for all this stuff it's uh, little mini figs and a castle and it's sold for four hundred and fifty dollars and they are he-man figures so this is a toy um, a lot of cleaning a lot of research and a lot of 
um, packing, but the sale happened and he made a bunch of money. Okay, Mary paid $6.99 at the thrift store, sold in less than 24 hours for best offer of $2.75. Now, these shoes, John Fluvog, I've seen these posted from time to time. They're very unusual, they're very funky, um, very easy to recognize also. And um, these are just fun looking. She's got Victorian steampunk, which is a great keyword if that fits. I can definitely see someone buying these for um, cosplay, which is, you know, dressing up in costumes and going to these conventions or even just parties. Um, steampunk is a very popular theme, so I can see why these sold so quickly, but those are a definite cool looking item. Um, and again, the name is John Fluvog, so put that on your look for list. $6.99 and she sold in less than a day for $275. Mary does a great job. She's a mom of two little kids and she still makes eBay work. Okay, we've got KC here. Again, another recycling center, Mega Find, paid $5 for three of these. I sold two on best offer for $950 with free shipping. Upon receipt, the buyer said one was defective and was understanding that I likely had no way to test it. Okay, so let's see what this is. This is a pneumatic test ball plug. I don't even know what that is. Is it some kind of... Okay, it's a pneumatic plug that are inserted into a pipe and then inflated to block flow something industrial scale contractors would use to fix pipes that are currently in use. Okay, so it is a very specialized item that you're probably never going to run across, but Casey goes to this recycling center where they sell all these odds and ends and weird things that people donate, um, and he picked it up for five dollars for three of them, sold two on best offer for nine hundred and fifty. So <laughs> You just don't know what people are throwing away. Um, this could have been thrown away by some contractor or construction company and just thought, well, you know, we don't have a use for it. Not even thinking you could sell it on eBay. And Casey the scavenger comes along and picks it up and makes a ton of money. Okay, Casey again, can't forget it wouldn't be a supersized thread without some form of knee brace. Paid $5 for this pair as they are motocross safety braces, so you would wear one in each knee. Sold within two hour for a best offer of 290. Now I want to say that Casey was part of the inspiration for my new medical items course that's in the premium library where I'm talking about things like this, things that you may not know have value, what you're allowed to sell as far as medical items um, because there is definite money in this stuff. People don't realize that someone else might have a use for these things when they're done with it whether they're um, you know it's a sporting item or it's a item for after some kind of surgery for you know rehabilitation whatever it might be there's all kinds of stuff that gets donated because people are just done with it and they're like I don't know what to do with this thing so they donate it and you can sell these things some of these medical items you can resell. So um, another reason for you to get over to the premium library, check out that course and figure out what you are walking past, what you are missing. You're leaving money on the table if you're not looking at medical and or sports stuff like this. So this is a knee brace that sold for $290. He paid $5 for this pair of motocross knee braces. Okay, April, bought at an estate sale for $15, sold within a week for $149.99 plus shipping. Another medical item, Saunders Cervical Traction Machine Neck Stretching Carrying Case DVD Instruction. So um, $15, sold for $149. Another medical item that she was smart enough to pick up. 
Okay, we've got Lynn who bought this at a thrift store for $7, sold for $189. Max Mara, Italy, brown women's wool silk blazer, $189. She found it for $7. Lynn, you live near me. I'd love to know where you found that. I'm not going to come encroach on your turf, but um, we sure find some good stuff in the Atlanta area, I can tell you that. Okay, we've got Beth, who says a friend gave her this box of books for free. These were in there free and best offer, $110 plus shipping, and they are, what is it? Sadler Sales Institute Training Modules. Oh, it's a book. Okay, so some kind of training book, $110, and it was free. Okay, we've got Mark again. Paid $13 at an estate sale, sold for $100 plus $12 shipping. And this is a used Sirius Orbiter Boombox Antenna and Receiver. $13 sold for $100. Mark does really well at estate sales. Okay, now we've got Lisa. Paid $5 at a garage sale, took $129 plus shipping and this is a Disney snow globe this is one of those put it in your brain remember it Disney snow globes sell really well apparently um, a true story I had been watching this you know thread for years and people kept posting this one snow globe um, the Little Mermaid snow globe that had like a big one in the middle and a bunch of little satellite globes around it and people kept finding this and selling it for like 250 to 300 dollars and I was like you know yeah I don't know that I'll ever come across that but I try to remember these things well sure enough one day I'm at a garage sale three houses down from me and there it is brand new in the box that snow globe and I bought it for thirty dollars and it sold for two hundred and fifty so it was our it was new in the box so it was all packed um, in styrofoam and everything and I put that box in a bigger box with like um, packing peanuts you know double boxed it but there it was and these things are just gonna pop up in front of you you're gonna be shocked when you're like oh my gosh I saw that on a video or someone to put that on Money Making Mondays. So that's why we do this is so you can get a visual and know what to, to look for. So again, that was a Beauty and the Beast snow globe, snow globe, $5, sold for $129. Okay, we've got Markham who purchased this at a flea market for $3, sold for $149.56 plus shipping. They are Cutco table knives with a marbled handle. Perfect. That is an excellent brand to sell. $3 sold for $149 plus shipping in two weeks. And that is also why you want to get on the ball and get your stuff listed because it can't sell if it's not listed. Um, if you have not checked out my virtual assistant service where we list your items for you, please do so. We're helping so many people with that. Um, I just closed out 2018 and looked at my stats. We listed 24,000 items last year for sellers on eBay. So that's huge. This service helps a lot of people. It helps you scale your business. It helps you get it done. So check that out. Uh, Markham again purchased an Olympus camera with two lenses at a flea market in August. Was on the fence about it. Hemmed and hawed and the woman kept dropping the price. Five dollars he bought it and he sold this for um, the grand total for one five dollar purchase was three hundred and thirty dollars plus shipping for some camera lenses. So if you know anything about that definitely um, a profitable niche is uh, camera accessories. Okay, Lisa purchased at a garage sale for $3, sold for best offer of $100 plus shipping, took about three to four weeks to sell, had lots of lowball offers. What is it? Vintage Oster Kitchen 
white 10 speed food processor power blender mixer. So she's got the unit and all the attachments and stuff there and it was three dollars. She sold it for a hundred plus shipping. So yes, those things do well if parted out or all in one big lot. And then we've got Lisa again. Yes, Lisa again bought at a garage sale for four dollars, took a couple of weeks to sell for full asking price of $165 plus shipping. It is a another Thomas the Tank item. Wooden railway train set a day at the works rare with extras. Four dollars sold for 165. So yes, Thomas is back. Very popular item. Okay, Emily paid three dollars at the bins, which means the Goodwill outlet. Sold within two weeks for a hundred dollars. This is um, Sawyer complete four liter dual bag gravity water purification filter system. So it's a water purifier thingamajig. Three dollars sold for a hundred in just a couple of weeks. So those odds and ends, those things you don't know what they are, pick them up and look at them. Figure it out. You might have some good money sitting right there in front of you. We've got Lisa again who bought at a garage sale for $3, sold in three days for full asking price of $105 plus shipping. I priced very high because I could tell it was in demand. The only other one for sale was on auction with four days to go and already had bid up to $66. So what is this? How to Train Your Dragon, two deluxe Astrid costume, child size, medium. So it's a costume, and that was right before Halloween, so that makes sense, since this was October 17th. Um, but still, Halloween stuff sells all year, so this she probably just got more because it was right before Halloween. But this was $3 and she turned it into $105. And then we've got more from Lisa. Okay, I would like to say a huge thank you to the site and all who post. It has really made me look at things I may have otherwise walked past. This was my best sale to date. Purchased at a garage sale for $10, sold in a week and a half for best offer of $300. Received lower offers, but figured I'd wait a little closer to the holidays to take a low offer. Price this very high, also because it was sold out, unavailable everywhere. I triple bubble wrapped and double boxed him, now crossing my fingers. He gets to his destination, whole. It is Fitz and Floyd, Enchanted Holiday Reindeer, and she sold it for $300. It was $10 at a garage sale. So... You guys just have to realize that people out there doing these garage sales, donating stuff to thrift stores, they just, they don't know what their stuff is worth. Or they don't care. They don't have time to deal with it. And they just get rid of it. Um, most, I would say most often, they don't know. They just are oblivious to the world of reselling because they don't do it. And they just are cleaning out and want to get rid of stuff and move on with whatever they're doing. So please don't buy into the hype that you can't make money on eBay um, because that's just ridiculous. We can we see that you can. <laughs> um, over and over again you can. And it's just a matter of educating yourself, staying in the know, and being willing to look things up and figure it out as you go along. Okay. Now we've got Susan who says her husband picked this picked up the set for two dollars at a garage sale while we were vacationing Labor Day weekend. Put it on a ten day auction and the bidders went crazy. Ended at four hundred and thirty seven dollars. What is it? Orange Lotus Catherine Holm of Norway. Butter warmer stand four bowls sauce pot. So Catherine Holm is the brand that is a vintage, I believe it's enamelware type stuff where it's bowls and plates and pots and pans that kind of thing. Um, so two dollars 
at a garage sale sold for $437 in 10 days. So, yeah, that gets you excited about eBay. Jennifer paid $1.98 for 24 packs of 1980-81 Trend Scratch and Sniff stickers. Have sold nine packs so far for a total profit of $381. All nine packs sold over the course of a week and a half. Still have three packs listed, but sales have stalled. So let's take a look at this. Uh, $50 for some scratch and sniff stickers. So look in those bins of junk in the back where it's like party napkins and invitations and you know all that paper stuff. You could find something like this in there. The 12 packs that are not listed, we will probably wait for a few months or until next Halloween to relist. I single-handedly oversaturated my own market, but I can't complain. Even if I never sell another one, I am over the moon about this profit. So, um, $1.98 for 24 packs of these, and she's already made $381 and still has some left to sell. All right, Casey, again. Not sure if this counts, but I bought it myself in 1994 for roughly five dollars. I mailed away this video game inspired comic book and kept it perfectly preserved for 23 years. Received best offer of 150 in about two weeks. Buyer said that price guides have it priced at thirty dollars, but he's never seen one in perfect condition. It is a Williams Electronics Mortal Kombat 2 Collector's Edition comic book and he's got the envelope that it came in so this is definitely something for a collector yes it counts if it's yours and you just decided to sell it why would that not count KC five dollars and sold on best offer of hundred and fifty dollars and it was just a thing that he had um, he decided to sell okay Nicole this is an item I would never have given a second glance had it not been for this group I picked up this needlepoint kit at a church sale for $10 and took a best offer of $165 the next day. Um, this is Ehrman, E-H-R-M-A-N, Peppermint Tea Time Cushion. So um, it looks like a needlepoint kit. I can't see the full title here. Um, $10 and took a best offer of $165 the next day. If you have not checked out my needlepoint, excuse me, my needlework course in the premium library, come check it out. It's not just about picking up these kits. It's all about the whole industry niche of selling needlework, what it is, keywords, what kinds of things sell. It's an ongoing course I'm continuing to add to. So if that's something you want to learn, Premium Library is $20 a month. Come join for a month. Take all the classes you want. If you don't want to stay, no problem. You can leave. I'm not going to pressure you. But I'm constantly adding to it, so you're going to want to come back and check out what's been added if you have been a member and been away because I add about 8 to 12 hours worth of stuff every month. Okay, Bethany sold this item twice. First time took a best offer of $65. I put the wrong size, so I sent a return label. Next time it was listed for $99, sold in one day, full price. This is a J. Crew blazer. And very nice, preppy looking, conservative, uh, basic wardrobe staple type item. Okay, she paid $3 for it. And sold it for $99. All right, Diane paid $20, sold for $140. Didn't give the whole backstory there, but that's okay. We can just take a look at the listing. It is a roasting pan. New in the box, professional platinum roaster oval cooking system roasting pan. And again, she said Paid $20, sold for $140. So check out those things new in the box. Um, cookware sells all year. I'm sure there's a little bit more 
are a few more sales preceding the holidays for holiday cooking but um, you know that's just people cook all year there's all kind of events so don't be under the false assumption that fourth quarter is going to be the best time to sell your stuff because anything can sell at any time um, and if you are not listing things because you don't think it's the right time of year you are leaving money on the table I'm actually starting a new video series um, about that very issue that eBay knows no seasons and what we're going to do is show you sales for holidays that are like the off season so you know January will show you sales that were had nothing to do with Valentine's Day that, that's coming up it's going to be all about things that you wouldn't think would sell because you think it's the off season but eBay knows no season things can sell at any time all right Patricia the ashtray I bought at the auction for $5 sold on best offer for $275. Okay, really? An ashtray. $275. Because it's collectible. Hotel, Ritz, Paris, clear ashtray, vintage art deco. And looks like she took an offer there. $20, I'm sorry, $5 and sold for $275 and she had it listed in three days. So if it's not listed, it can't sell. Congratulations, that's a great sale, Patricia. All right, Rebecca bought a pair of shoes at a local thrift store for $5.99. They sold on best offer for $150 last night after being listed for about a month. Let's see what they are. And I don't know how to pronounce this. Ann Yi Lu. Is that right? Tulip black leather slingback Mary Jane pumps. Made in Italy. Rare. Let's see what this is. If there's a logo on here. Don't see one on the bottom. Oh wait. There's inside. An Yi. A-N-Y-I-L-U. What does it say underneath there? Handmade in Italy. Any shoes that say that, you want to do further research. Some are, are not going to pan out, and others are going to be great. So this was $5.99, sold on best offer of $150 after about a month. Great sale. We've got Roberta here. Easy everyday cooking recipe cards and boxes, amount paid, 50 cents. Purchased at Habitat for Humanity Restore, sold for $104 plus shipping. <laughs> I love that. These are recipe cards. Now you would think, some of you internet addicted people, um, why do you need recipe cards? Everything's online. You just Google the recipe. You can just, you know, get it online. Why do you need this? Well, some people still like it this way. Not everybody wants to have their phone or their computer stuck in their face all the time and they prefer it this way. Or maybe these cards, um, maybe they're replacing something. Maybe they had the set and it was lost, damaged, um, ruined. You know, people's homes have floods and fires and problems all the time and they're replacing things they really like. So we don't know. Um, but here is the feedback from her buyer. We received the recipe cards today. Just wanted to give you a big thank you for everything. Packaged extremely well. We lost everything in a fire last year, including these same cards. So my wife was thrilled when I surprised her with them today. Once again, thank you for everything. So there you go. Um, I've just seen this a lot with, you know, our house flooded or our house was damaged in the hurricane and a lot of our stuff was damaged or we had a fire or not just natural disasters but pipes breaking and things like that that ruin stuff in your house people are often replacing items that um, they used to have that may not be the most technologically advanced items they just like them and want them so don't try to judge what people will buy or won't buy because you just you're not your buyer you don't know their reasons 
Okay, Jen, purchased at Salvation Army on 25% off day, paid $26, look to be never played with. It is a, uh, looks like a slot car racetrack thing. And again, $26, and she sold it for $225. Fantastic. All right, um, we've got Teg bought off Facebook Marketplace for $10, sold yesterday for full price on sale plus shipping, took a little over a month. And this is a green light up space alien plastic blow mold Halloween decoration, $179. And she bought it for $10 off a Facebook Marketplace. So there you go. How about that? Ginger bought this rotodent toothbrush at a local thrift store for $10, sold in about a week for $120 plus shipping. Rotodent, I thought at first it was something about rodents, but no, Rotodent is a toothbrush, electric toothbrush. So $10, she sold it for $120, sold in about a week. And then Ginger again, Bought this at Goodwill about two months ago for either $8 or $10. Sold last night for $109.99 with free shipping. It is a um, Moen, oh, it's a shower head. It's a shower kit where it's the head and the, um, the knob thing. So it's the rubbed oil bronze, which is very popular right now. So maximum of $10 for this and sold for $109. Okay, we've got Lisa again. Bought this brand new for my husband as a gift a few years ago. He didn't really use it, so decided to sell. I count it as free since it's been sitting in our house for a while. Took full asking price of $255. It is a Bose speaker. Those always do well. So that's an easy way to pick up a couple hundred bucks if you've got one sitting around that you're not using. So, Bose speaker. Okay, Lisa sold this yesterday for full asking price of $135 after declining an offer of $99. Shipping out today. Buyer asked that I not include any paperwork or pricing. Might be selling it somewhere else for more, but I am happy with the sale. Yeah, don't worry if that happens. Um, you know, if you get what you want to get out of it and you're happy, that's fine. Move on. There's more stuff to, to resell. And this is a Black & Decker Flavor Center Handy Steamer Food and Rice Cooker. New in the box. So it's rice cooker, basically. And took $135. It was $10 at an estate sale. Okay, Brittany. Bought at Goodwill for $5. Sold in about a week for full price. After fiancé mistakenly put it on sale. And what is it? Some kind of Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher Brown 100% wool, full zip, heavyweight jacket, 3X. And what'd she say she got for it? Full price. So this is another one of those items with a lot of great attributes. It's Eileen Fisher, which is a high-end, well, it's not as high-end as it used to be, but it is an expensive brand. It's not a designer brand, but it's an expensive brand. And it's a large size, and it's a coat, and is it 100% wool? Let's see. So that probably counts. Yep, 100% wool. So we've got brand, size, type of item, and what it's made of, all contributing to that higher dollar price. Okay, Brittany again. This was an item I had previously owned, bought in 2003 for senior prom. Had listed for almost a year before selling it for full asking price. What is it? This is a lip service brand, black velvet corset, gothic Victorian cosplay gown, dress, medium. Lots of great keywords there. And sold it for full asking price of $143. Um, Cass just sold today. Bought at Goodwill for $699, listed for $175, and she got an offer of $150 and took it. And it is a military jacket. 
U.S. Navy G1 leather flight jacket, brand name, size 36. There is the tag. It's one of those bomber kind of jackets. Great sale, 150 nothing wrong with that. Okay, Bethany paid $6, sold for $129 in about two weeks. This is a Pro-Line Philadelphia Eagle starter jacket. $6 sold for $129. Lots of money in these jackets, you guys. Max Green, free on let go, sold for full asking price of $129.85. What is it? Panasonic 13-inch color TV combo. Yeah, these things are great. I mean, we've got all these people doing the tiny house thing. You've got people um, living in assisted living or um, you know, smaller homes, smaller living situations on purpose. And they like these, these smaller, no, not everybody wants this giant TV hanging on their wall. Um, you know, they might just want a small one. So this was free and sold for $129. Okay, Brian paid $4 and sold for $159.99 plus shipping. This is a pool ball set in the box doesn't say it's new it just says it's authentic original box four dollars sold for 159 for some pool balls and we've got Brian again paid eight dollars sold for 139.99 plus shipping this is vintage soap SOAP grinding shoes blue and white size 13 um, looks like for skateboarding so Nice sale there, $8 turned into $139. And then we've got Brian again. Paid $15 and sold for $99.99. These are some World Series ticket stubs from 1962. That's that ephemera I'm always talking about. Paper stuff that sells. Check out my course on that in the Premium Library. Lots of good information there. Things you would not believe would sell for great money. But here's the proof right here. Ticket stubs sold for 100 bucks, and he paid $15 for them. Okay, Damaris purchased at local Goodwill for $8, sold for $128 plus shipping in about a week. Tommy Hilfiger denim overalls. Um, yeah, these sell great any time of year. Overalls are used all the time not just for Halloween decorations, not just for working in the garden, all kinds of stuff. It's, you know, fashion. Okay, Megan picked up brand new wireless dog fence system and an extra collar at a thrift store for $15. Ordered the missing battery charger from eBay for 12 turned around and sold it for full asking price a few days later. So she's got $27 in this and it sold for $285. So sometimes it pays to buy the missing part, missing piece, and get the item in working condition before trying to sell it. Okay, Lisa bought for $3.23 at Goodwill, listed on September 7th, sold on September 19th for $99.99 plus shipping. Costa Boda new tulip Scandinavian salad plates. That's interesting. Bought these for three dollars and twenty-three cents and sold them for a hundred bucks. Okay, here we've got um, Christina paid two dollars and ninety-nine cents at a thrift store and sold for a hundred and four dollars. What is it? The mystery. Vintage towel, sir, sterling silver and lead crystal powder jar, new nineteen forties era. So it is a. Um, for women's dusting powder and she paid $2.99 and sold it for $104. So way to stick with that Christina. I know you've been working on getting your business going. That's what it's going to take. You just keep going. And we've got Roberta. Vintage 1965 Junior High School yearbook with photos of Barbie and Ken. <laughs> paid a dollar, got it at a church rummage sale sold it for $124.95. Okay, let's take a look at this. Look 
at original listing and I want to see what these pictures of Barbie and Ken are oh I know what they're doing they put them in the yearbook like they're in school okay that's funny um, that could have been what sold it right there oh so the theme of the yearbook was Barbie and Ken okay that's really cute that's really creative interesting there they are going to the prom <laughs> oh look at those cheerleader uniforms but again this is 1965 and she bought that for a dollar that is also ephemera it's just an old book who, who knew that would be collectible and it sold for $124.95 okay well that is the end of the October edition of $100 sales supersize sales um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for lots more videos coming up have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.